explain what is happening here. We're uh, homogenizing milk to show the importance of homogenizing it. We have uh, raw milk in the tank over there and uh, in the big cylinder over there. And we have a sample of the raw milk in the left uh, microscope and a sample of the processed homogenized milk in the right microscope. And uh, the students can come along and uh, see the difference between both of them. And what is homogenizing? What is it? When you... Um, Let me see. What is happening here? Something is homogenous if all the parts of it are about the same size. Ah, and what is this? And here we're breaking down the fat particles to make them all about the same size. So they're more stable when they're in the milk. And they don't uh, float up to the top. Should I turn it on? Yes, please. So they press it through a very small seam. Yeah, and they, uh, you can see the, the pressure here. Pressure is how much? It's about 10. We mostly put it up all the way to 200. 200 bar. Yes. Yes. And okay, almost. 300 bar. And then it comes out here. Yeah. Okay. And then what happens with this milk? This milk uh, could be packaged and sold at a supermarket because it's. Uh, Stable and equal enough that the okay. jobs want it. Okay. And let us see what is the difference. Here is the milk, which is still raw milk. This is the raw milk under the microscope. Okay, you see all those particles. And here is the processed milk. No particles. And here we see the unprocessed milk and on top of it is a layer of fat. From the top of the cylinder we can treat it. Because what happens if we would sell this in a store, in a supermarket, people would not like it to get milk like this because they think, oh, there's fat above and we don't like it. So we process this milk a little bit. We use this machine to homogenize it. Homogenize. Homogenize. Homogenize it, and this is called with a cylinder. Pistons, pistons, they pump through a very narrow opening, and the distance can be determined by this handle over here a large opening or a small opening. And what happens to the bulbs, to the fat globes, is that they become very small. So, and then you see the difference over here. And over here, if you come within the camera, you know, like that, you don't see the bulbs anymore. They are so small and they will not come up again. So this is what happens. And if you buy milk in a supermarket, you will not find a layer of fat on top of the milk. It's all been done by this machine. Okay, thank you. Peace.